Hello, here we're looking at an appendix and uh, this is the proximal end which has been tied off and here is the tip of the appendix. Uh, just to orientate you a little bit, we're looking at the serosal surface here. This is the mesoappendiceal fat and at the tip region, the appendix has been bisected longitudinally. We're looking inside the lumen here and this is the cross-section of the appendiceal wall. Now looking at the serosa, we can see that there are some yellowish exudates on the surface that make the serosa appear opaque rather than translucent. We can appreciate the exudates a little bit better looking at this other surface. And if we look at this on the microscope, under the microscope we would be seeing fibrinol pyrulent exudates, fibrin, and uh, numerous neutrophils. And this would be an acute inflammatory infiltrate or exudate. Now looking at the tip of the appendix, we can appreciate that the color is rather dark in the wall of the appendix and this is due to congestion and hemorrhage. Let's take a closer look. And when within the lumen, instead of seeing a very nice clean uh, luminal surface, again we are seeing this coating with this yellowish, um, in the fresh specimen it would appear yellowish green. This is also pyrulent material which would be full of neutrophils, uh, necrotic cellular debris and sometimes even bacterial organisms. So this is a gross specimen showing the features of acute appendicitis. Um, clinically, uh, the patient, of course, would present with right ileac fossa pain, guarding of the abdomen and tenderness. And when the surgeon actually has a look at the appendix, it will be swollen or turgid. And he or she would be able to actually see these exudates on the serosa, which is indicative of acute appendicitis.